Hello year six. So uh, you join me from my one hour of allotted, allowed, outdoor activity. Although at the minute I'm thinking it's going to be more activity for April, but we won't think about that too much. Anyway, um, so I've been thinking about Sammy and my discussion uh, about the writing. and I've realised that it is really, really hard to write uh, a creative writing piece when you don't actually have a lot of stimulus into it. I just say, oh, write about this and you just go ahead and do it. So um, I do apologise for that. It's because a lot of the packs were... Um, put together with not a lot of time from the government um, so I do apologize but I've decided to give you a weekly writing task so this week's weekly writing task will be a descriptive narrative please because we've recently done those in school so our skills should be pretty much there so you need to be thinking about description how do we describe things We need to be thinking about making it memorable making it beautiful painting a picture in your reader's mind okay so thinking about similes metaphors um using thesauruses you can get those online remember you can get them um you can use the word document if you've got a microsoft computer uh or you can use a book thesaurus if you have one of those uh to upskill words we need to think of really creative ways to write and describe what we are seeing so uh, i always think about when we have this discussion in class when we talked about how gnarled twisted um broken fingers of trees that hang limply over the lake do you remember that lesson when we talked about that um so we've used a little bit of personification there as well saying a tree is doing something or has fingers when it doesn't so your story can be on any kind of story that you like. It doesn't have to be very long. Shay, I'm looking at you. It doesn't need to be a whole novel. <laughs> it can, can be if you like. Um, but it doesn't need to be really long. Just looking for something of really powerful description in. I've got for you in a moment a little clip afterwards um, where April and I have discovered a nice setting for you to set your story. That is the one thing I would like to control. So as long as your story is set where I'm about to show you, that is absolutely fine. I would just like to apologise for the behaviour of my naughty horse because she's in a very bad mood tonight and doesn't like to stand still. So if the video's a little bit wobbly, I'm really sorry. I'm trying to do two things at once. So anyway, enjoy. And I hope to see these on Monday uh, by 1pm, please. If you could get these to me by Monday at 1, I'd take a photo of them, hand write them and take a photo, or write them on the computer and then email them over and it'd be very much appreciated. Right, happy writing. Right then, year six, I am using my one hour of allotted exercise time to show you around the setting for your writing task. So, just down here, past this old oak, and through this lovely wild garlic on the floor, over a little stream, and into this woodland. Now, April has got very excited, obviously, because she knows about the beautiful writing that you're going to produce. So, I would like from you a narrative, a short story um, that is set in this woodland. Anything else is completely down to you. Whether you'd like it to be a magical story about what creatures could be living here, like fairies or orcs or ogres or um, crazy talking woodland animals, that's absolutely fine. Whether you'd like it to be an adventure story, maybe some, a group of children come in and find some mm, secret in the woodland and go off on a magical adventure, well a fun adventure. Um, anything, it's completely up to you. So if I just pause apes for a second. And other than the leather on my saddle squeaking, this, just listen to what you can hear. So we've got lots and lots of lovely little birds. If you look at what you could describe visually, you've got some gorgeous dapple sunlight coming through the trees that are trying to grow some leaves. You've got some lots of little log piles, fallen trees, lots of luscious green grass. And in the May, uh, it turns into a carpet of bluebells, which is absolutely stunning. Um, lots and lots of trees. Lots of these are silver birch trees. Reaching up into the sky, the nice little setting sun over there, very idyllic. Um, but seriously guys, it's completely up to you. The only thing that I ask is that it is based around this setting. So please use this video and some photos that I will pop up after this as an inspiration for your writing. 
what I am going to plan to do is read out or publicize them as PDFs online, your lovely literacy work, and then uh, you can all view it. And the one that I find most exciting to read, most enthralling to read, I will create um, a little video for. Oh no, I've just dropped my reins. Come back. Ah, got them. Safe. Okay, so <laughs> it's completely up to you. I will wander around now and take a few more little videos and photos and pop them up afterwards. I found this lovely little log pile and it's made me think about um, bug hotels that we create sometimes in the forest school. In those, think about all the creatures. But April, I'm trying to film 